think I cracked a problem. This screen has been in the game for a while, but I, I haven't shown it to you in the recent videos because it was just a huge problem, but I think I fixed it. You have no idea what I'm talking about. So the screen I'm talking about is the city map. I'm just not sure if I still have old footage of how it was before this week. If I have, I'm showing it to you now. Uh, this is the city map, how it was, and it didn't really have a lot of purpose. I wasn't really happy with the interface. It just needed to change and it the purpose was the most important thing i want to mix in some way some sort of city building with all this action and tactical squad stuff i know it's hard it's difficult it's stupid maybe but this week i think i managed to find a way how this can all work and just fit together so we're going to talk about that and i also going to talk about um, graphics and art and mostly uh, marketing materials this is usually a um, marketing art is different from game art. If you're doing high resolution games or 3D games, you can do a lot of art from that. But I'm doing pixel art and for my games, I usually want some high risk artworks to just do the marketing materials, banners, um, other thingy capsules on Steam page, you name it. I need some marketing materials. And this week we got all that stuff done uh, pretty much. And I want to talk about that. Also, where can you find great artists to help you create such materials? So right now the mission screen is gonna be part of the actual game and city building is gonna be very city building light i guess that's the best way to call it but your uh, buildings the buildings you're gonna be placing will influence um, how the game plays out how your missions plays out how your characters evolve uh, pretty much the roguelike type stuff that modifies your gameplay that's what this city is gonna do for example if we place an industrial uh, type building there's gonna be more uh, ammo, more weapon types spawning. And if you place a hospital, your characters might increase in health points and there will be more medikit drops, but it might also mean that enemies get stronger as well. There will be some uh, positive stuff and some negative stuff. And every time that you complete a mission, you'll get a couple of buildings you can place on the map and you can pick one of those buildings and they will let you know which are the modifiers, how the game is gonna change. And you're gonna have to decide uh, what type of buildings you're gonna place. I wanna expand on this system a little bit more because I think it should also influence how much violence there will be, how much gangs there will be, how your gangs grow and how your city does as a whole. Uh, but I haven't figured out that part yet. I'm just very happy that I figured out this part. Placing of buildings is really gonna matter. And I also changed some of the graphics. I wasn't really happy with having all the buildings there, but I also wasn't happy with just that first square of buildings and everything else flat and empty that just didn't look right. So I created grayscale versions of every building and the rest of the map that isn't really used is now shown in this grayscale. Almost like a little dior, di, 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 almost like a little diorama of a city and then as soon as you start placing buildings that whole block changes. You will not be placing buildings on every spot in the map. Um, I don't think that the that's really the audience for this game because there's a lot of action going on as well. Um, the map building is gonna be uh, simple, the city building part. It's gonna be very different from other city builders, so we're not gonna call this a city builder at all. Maybe just a little bit. But it's gonna be um, difficult to navigate that, but it's gonna be an action game. Maybe the first city building action game, roguelike, something like that, or we'll figure that out but i had a great week getting this all up and running and changing it still a lot of stuff to do this is pretty cool which brings us to an even cooler thing artwork and artwork as in marketing materials and cool banners and stuff like that for creating websites creating store pages and uh yeah this 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 is it i'm still working on it right now i'm doing all the background stuff and all the extra effects and thingies the characters were done by Harugashi, he's on the Discord. Who Just connect him, talk to him if you need artwork, he might be up for it if he has time. He did all the characters and um, I did, I'm now tinkering with the background graphics. Now, I can obviously also draw stuff myself. I've drawn stuff for, well, I do all the pixel art in my games, but I've also drawn some of the artwork for some of my games um, when I'm on a very tight budget. But the problem is whenever I draw something myself, I see all the flaws. Even if it's looking very good to others, 
I'm just not happy with it. Um, when I'm doing pixel art or game graphics, it's a lot easier for me to think, well, there's a little tiny error there or things don't really work, but if we place it in the game, surrounded by all the other art and graphics, nobody will notice it except me. But if I do marketing material, I will always notice the little things and it just bugs me. So I usually end up asking somebody else to do the graphics for me, the artwork. Uh, I've been working with a couple of people over, well, the last 17 or 18 years doing this. I think I started once with, um, for my old mobile games with um, a young girl from England and she ended up working at Sega, which is pretty awesome. Um, I work with uh, Scott who did a lot of graphics for a lot of my games like Heroes of Loot and um, many others. Actually, he works at another game company and he did that on the side. I've worked with Enga Tantama, Tantama, Enga, Enga, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. He did the art for uh, Meganoid and Ashworld and he also did some artwork for Gunslugs that I never actually used. But um, now I'm working with Nathan for this one, Haragoshi on the Discord. So I end up with a lot of stuff. Uh, Residual was done by an Iranian artist, I think. Uh, I did Snake or myself, I did Space Buns myself, which is just ugly, terrible. I should do a new one or get somebody to do one. Um, Gunslugs, this was actually art from the original Gunslugs, repurposed. I'm gonna do this one as well all over because it's just not the thing I want. Sir Questionnaire was done by someone else. Oh, I forgot your name. Sorry, dude. Uh, we only worked on this one together. Um, Ashworld, Meganoid by Enga, Heroes of Loot, Space Grunts, Groundskeeper, Heroes of Loot, Meganoid. They were all done by Scott. Uh, and these are obviously never done and they have just pixel art which just looks a little bit um, and then of course going all the way back to the older games this was done by jessica this one done by jessica these were done by me this one as well this one as well this one also also uh, this was done by i think scott but i'm not sure uh, it was a game yeah i'm not sure if scott did that one and uh, this was done by Jessica. You can see all the manga style was done by Jessica. Pretty cool stuff back then. So I usually end up finding people on ArtStation or on DeviantArt. Um, every now and then you can just shout out on Twitter or on a Discord channel if there's anybody there. But um, usually I find people on one of these two sites. I contact them, see if they're interested and um, how much do they cost and that just depends on a lot of factors how much experience do they have where do they live because obviously if someone lives in a very poor country sorry if i say it wrong but if someone lives in a country where a hundred dollar is a lot of money you can get good art for less money than if you hire somebody from the united states hundred dollar is not gonna do it i usually end up with anywhere between a hundred three or four hundred but that's mostly because i don't want to pay that much four hundred I don't think I ever did that, by the way. 300 is probably the max I paid for artwork. And it's not to insult artists. Um, I know their time is valuable and all that stuff. I'm a game developer. I know what it means to work your ass off to hopefully get some money. Just about my budget. What kind of budget do I have for the game? What can I spend on it? And um, you have to somehow find a balance between getting a cool artist that can actually do it for the money that you can spend on it. And um, in this case, Nathan did me a very great, solid, awesome thing. Um, I mean, there's a lot of characters here, but we came to something that fits in my budget for this game. And trust me, this game is way over budget already because publisher search isn't going very well. So I'm gonna have to do all of this myself, which is a bit scary, but we'll get there. So it fit in my budget. Um, bonus of that, I noticed that his art was different from the art I used to see from him so that he can also do this stuff. So we're now gonna try and make a game together, which is gonna be awesome as well. Which is also gonna be the first non-pixel art game for me. It's gonna be interesting. And I just found him on the Discord because that's where he lives. Well, probably not, but he's there. He's been there since Residual. He did some tile sets for Residual in the contest we did. And he did some other artwork for Residual that we're also gonna talk about pretty soon. So um, you'll see and hear more of him on this channel check the description below for a link to his channel he has his own youtube channel where he also shows the creation of art and these characters are probably gonna pop up there at some point we're gonna see how we're gonna do that all together somehow and um, it's gonna be cool to see him draw these things i think i like to see those things so because he did all these characters there was one huge problem in the game the game sprites images characters had 
they just didn't look like his artwork while well, the faces were they were there but the rest wasn't so i had to redo all the character art in the game we now have these characters actually running around which looks awesome every character has its own body type and own colors and that just looks pretty cool um, huge improvement on the game as well it just took a little bit of extra time this week to create these characters uh, but it was fun to do and it makes it worthwhile and i just wanted to say something else but i forgot what i wanted to say i'm getting old okay so i think this video is gonna be a little bit messy and chaotic and weird or at least for me recording it i'm not sure why but i've been talking about these two topics a lot so i might be cutting out a lot of stuff of this video and it might end up to be a very short video that happens every now and then it's been just a very weird week i get into that on the on this channel in a few weeks months from now it's i can't mention it right now but it's just been very strange and it's about games it's about orange pixel it's about things yeah i'm not making this video a lot better it's gonna be even more messier so we're just gonna end it here thanks for watching and uh, like subscribe comment below jump on the discord because one more thing sorry one more thing these characters we now have um the game is pretty much settled this these are the characters they have certain abilities they just don't have any names i'm gonna do this on discord somehow i'm not sure how so make sure to jump on this jump on discord and uh, we're gonna do some sort of naming contest or or i don't know something we'll f figure out something out but these characters need cool names and you can participate and be part of that by just jumping on discord and at some point we'll do something with it well i'll just show you a character and we'll just have name call just call out and shout the names you want to give to it best name wins whatever we're gonna figure out what you win we're gonna have some fun with it so uh that's gonna be happening on the discord channel as well in the near future for now end of this video thanks for watching like subscribe comment below and see you next week bye